Hey guys, it's 8 in the morning and I've been up all night so I really want to go to sleep so hopefully this video is short. I just wanted to make a video saying you know those people who have died that you've really wanted to talk to? Well, it's happened to me twice now. Now, the first time I got like one of the first video game musicians I ever got a hold of his name was John Medic, like J-O-N and then M-E-D-E-K now, he did the music for Buck Rogers on the Genesis, which was a game suggested to me by someone who read my Pool of Radiance guide on GameFAQs. So, you know, I sent him a message on Facebook, you know, I added him and everything he accepted, and I said, oh, did you do the music for that? And he's like, yeah, that was a long time ago, but yeah, that was me. And I never ended up talking to him again, and then one day, um, I think it was like last year, he ended up dying. And it was like, wow. And I really... You know, it's like, well, hopefully that's the only time this happens, but then it happened again. This time, it was a Japanese guy named Kenji Ino, I think is how you say his name. You might not know him, but he was a game developer, but he also did music for a few games too, like, um, I know Panic Restaurant and Casino Kid 2 were some of them, and then he did um, the NES version of Altered Beast. Um, it's, it's called Juoki, I think, on, on the NES, but... um the Famicom, I should say, it was only released in Japan. But, um, unfortunately, now how I found out about this was I'm friends with Hirohiko Takayama on Facebook, and it's unfortunate that he now ignores me because I haven't really talked to him that much, but every time I try to ask him something, he's, you know, just ignoring me, so. And you could say, well, maybe he's busy or something. Well, if he's got time to check Facebook, I mean, and besides, it's there are all the short, like, yes or no questions, like, did you work on this game or whatever. But that's beside the point. Anyways, he left a post on his Facebook saying, R.I.P. Kenshi Eno, my friend. And it's like, oh, I said that with an accent. So it's like, holy shit, you know. So I look, I look him up, and you know, you know, I looked up, you know, Kenji Eno dies on Google. I'll, I'll put a link in the description to his like oh, little obituary if you want to see it. Uh, apparently, he died from heart failure because of um, high blood pressure, and that's sad. Um, so you know, I hope you know, I hope he's having a great time in the friendly skies. I'm sure you know God enjoyed his music, you know, and. You know, I know Jesus will take care of him, and, you know, but I don't mean to throw any religion into it. Um, so, no offense to him, but when I first saw Kenji, you know, I thought he looked like a Japanese version of Tommy Wiseau. You know, the guy who made The Room, you know, the guy who plays um, Johnny in there. You know, I think that's his name. Anyways, he, he always reminded me of, like, a Japanese Tommy Wiseau. Um, which I thought was kind of funny, but it really sucks that he died. I, I mean, I, of course, this was pretty damn unexpected. I mean, most of these guys I expect to, you know, live for quite a while. The oldest composers I've talked to who've done music for games is probably Marshall Parker and Gavin Anderson. Now, Marshall Parker, you know, he did music for Beamsoft, or actually both of them did, but Marshall's known for his Shadowrun music on the Super Nintendo, and Fortunately, they're still alive. Um, they 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 haven't died yet, but um, they're pretty old. They're like in their 60s right now. So um, it so you know and they they too okay. Well, not Marshall, but Gavin's been kind of you know ignoring me for a while too, and I don't know why. But I tried to ask him some stuff and he never replied. So it kind of saddens me. You know, it's like I I don't I I message people a lot sometimes. In fact, let me tell you guys, when I was, you know, first on YouTube and I found Elbreen42, you know, I comment, look on his older videos, see how many fucking comments I left? Now that would give a good reason not to fucking give me any replies or anything. But, um, and I've got to make a video blog about that. But, um, anyways. Uh, just, wow. Now, there's a couple composers I wanted to talk to, but of course, you know, they're dead now, so I can't really do that. Um, one of them was Russell Leiblick, I think is how you say his name. He did some NES stuff, like he did Stealth ATF was the one of them, and he did, I think the game's called Ultimate Air Combat. And then, 
Uh, he did music for an Intellivision game called Snafu, apparently, which was my favorite game on there. Um, I loved that, even if it was like the probably the simplistic, most simplistic game ever. You know, it was it's pretty cool. Um, and then the other person was Richard Joseph. Um, he did a lot of Commodore games and stuff. And I haven't really listened to his stuff, but you know, I did like watch an interview with them back in like 2001. And it's like, wow, it'd be really cool to talk to this guy. And of course, it's not just video game musicians. There's actual musicians I've wanted to talk to as well. Like, you know, Michael Jackson, you know, King of Pop, that would have been cool. Then there's uh, Lane Staley from Alice in Chains, that, that would be awesome. And I'm really hoping to talk to Kevin Hearn from Bare Naked Ladies because he's got leukemia. So um, he, he's the reason I play, I started playing piano. He, literally, he's the reason why. And I, I do plan on making a video blog about, you know, how my music stuff started. <sighs> Anyways, I just want to say, you know, rest in peace, Mr. Eno, you know. I I know you probably weren't a Christian, but hopefully you went to heaven and Jesus is taking care of you. Um, just rest in peace, man. Thank you so much for your music. Thank you so much for your games. Um, us people who have either played your games and or listened to your music, uh, really appreciate it and I hope, you know, you've got a good room in heaven because of this, you know, because of all the stuff you've provided people with, you know, hours of gameplay. Now, why you didn't put credits in the US version of Panic Restaurant is beyond me, but I'm sure you had your reasons. Not to make fun of me or anything. Anyways, in all seriousness, you know, thank you so much. You know, hopefully Jesus is playing this video back in heaven to you or something, but anyways, thank you, and hopefully I will get to meet you when I die. That would be pretty cool. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Um, peace out. Again, I'll put a link in the description to the obituary if you want to see it. So, see you later.